Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Boon's, Mo Boons Tower Defense 5 Blitz Edition. <laughs> For a second I was going to say Boon's Monkey City. Um, so about that whole I'm going to record everything early and stuff. Uh, today's Thursday and uh, so I'm recording Thursday's episode on Thursday which doesn't seem like too big of a deal but I was trying to record early and all that so uh, let's just go right along and go to Z Factor on hard because uh, that will be today's episode. Now kind of want to do something different, kind of. I'm going to try attack shooters. Um, not really sure how well this is going to go, but I'd like to just try something new and different rather than just sticking with the same old boring boomerang thrower ninja Moab mauler combo. Um, plus I heard someone, uh, well not heard, but I read someone's comment on one of my Bloons Monkey City videos talking about uh, the tack shooter being really good, and I know that they meant it for Bloons Monkey City, so there is a bit of a difference. Um, you know what, for this one balloon, I'll just use road spikes. Um, but anyways, uh, increase attack rate, and then um, I know they meant that in Bloons Monkey City, the tack shooters are really good because of those balloons and all that. But I'd like to try to use uh, attack shooter a little bit more often. That might not have been the best um, circle to put it in. Uh, maybe ones farther out might have been better just because of the way that the balloons are uh, positioned right here. Maybe it's a better space right here or something. I don't know. Um, I'm never really that... I don't really use uh, attack shooters that often. If you've been watching my videos, you should already know that. Um, let's see. I'm obviously going to need something else. I can't use only attack shooters uh, because I'll need some camo detection, which the attack shooters do not provide. Um, and I can get lead popping with the Ring of Fire for only 2,700, which really is kind of cheap. Um, it's just that because the uh, lead appears so soon, um, sometimes it may, might not be cheap enough. Uh, I'm not really sure, but let's see. Just uh, one more round, and then I'll have the super range ta uh, tax. I almost thought that said tracks. <laughs> uh, tax go much further than, you, than normal. I was going to say usual. I really need to read. <laughs> Alright, so now I could either just save up 2,700 um, right now so that uh, I'll have enough for a Ring of Fire, but let's see. And again, I'm not using the uh, Monkey Farmers, or Banana Farmers, Monkey Farmers. Um, let's see, is it? Yeah, it's Monkey Farmer, and then Banana Farms. Yeah? Yeah. All right. um, so for camo detection, maybe I should use mortars because there's a lot of open space right here. Or I guess I could use, like, uh, Super Monkey with Super Range or something, or Epic Range, but uh, let's see. I kind of want to just build a second attack shooter, which I think I am going to do. I'm going to place it right here. Um, I'm just placing it here because, uh, I don't know, it just seems like a better place to put it, but I'm not really sure if it is. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Yeah. I'm going to use an attack shooter and a mortar. At least, you know, at the beginning. I'll probably end up changing that strategy. But, let's see. Um, eh. I'm not really sure how well um, I, these towers are going to go. I do know that I can use road spikes for the, uh, for the first uh, camo balloon on round 24. But then on round 33, I'd prefer not to use a bunch of road spikes because that could get really expensive. Um, so in that case, by the time I get to round 33, uh, I need to uh, get the mortar tower up to its uh, signal flare upgrade. And I remember someone, I think they said that it only costs like 2,000 uh, to fully upgrade the mortar tower to like what it's generally best at. Uh, that's, that sounds really cheap. It might actually be that cheap, but that sounds a little too good to be true. Um, so let's see, just increase this range a little bit. And now, okay, it's still round 18. I've still got some time. But with these two tax shooters, obviously they're doing pretty good. <clears throat> uh, partly just because of this track. Um, because the track goes all the way around them, so they're pretty much always being useful. Um, because of uh, their attack pattern always being on the track, if that made sense. I don't think that made sense. But um, let's see, can I actually fit one up here? No, not enough room. Oh well. Uh, Alright, so let's see, now it's actually getting pretty close to when I'm going to need a mortar, um, because it's going to be round 24 in two or three rounds, 
Uh, so let's see. Upgrade that. Still can't upgrade it all the way. Alright, so I'm probably not, I'm not gonna have enough uh, by the time I need camo detection. So, it's kind of lame that it doesn't... Oops, okay, that's close. Um, it's kind of lame that it doesn't automatically have camo detection. Because uh, it works basically the same as a Dartling gun. And Dartling gun has uh, camo vision, camo detection. Now, while the mortars are able to pop leads right now, um, I'm using them more for... I'm using this mortar more for the uh, camo properties or camo detection rather than dealing with lead just because uh, right now I need uh, right now I technically need both but um, once I get the ring of fire upgrades then uh, I won't need uh, the mortar to deal with the lead uh, let's see and see another good thing about the mortar and being able to move it is that uh, when a balloon will leak right there at the beginning, I can just move my mortar to aim at it and uh, help get it that way. Alright, so there's going to be some lead on this round as well, uh, which may cause some problems because of stuff like that. But let's see, I'm um, not going to move it yet, just wait until all the other um, all the other balloons are taken care of. And there we go. Alright, so next um i guess i should just save up for the ring of fire um obviously my defenses are not quite good enough um so maybe i should go for another oops uh that's not good um maybe i should just get another tack shooter right now i think i will just get another tank shooter right now because obviously i'm still leaking some lives or leaking some balloons not necessarily lives um so i'm gonna need more defenses and of course, right now the uh, the mortar is able to pop uh, the lead balloons, so don't have to worry too much about it. And I'm sure some people are, you know, yelling at the screen saying that the blade shooter and the uh, the maelstrom ability are better, but I prefer um, the ring of fire and the uh, what's it called the other one, not the tax sprayer. That's what it is, not the other thing that it was but <laughs> anyways um so here round 33 the one mortar isn't quite good enough maybe i just need better placement but um but yeah uh the yellow balloons do move a bit faster than the mortar tower can handle so that is always a problem let's see um i kind of don't want to just spam a bunch more of uh attack shooters but I think I might have to, just because I don't have enough for a ring of fire. However, once I get down to the Moab, then I'm going to need a lot of tag shooters if I'm going to try to solo tag shooter a Moab. Um, but I do have quite a bit more time, like uh, quite a few more rounds until the actual Moab appears. Uh, let's see, will that cover all those? Yeah. Um, Alright, I'll start sending in some bomb towers um, to be Moab Maulers, but uh, that is kind of lame, because I was hoping to just do a bunch of attack shooters, but oh well. Um, let's see, can get for Moab, because I mean I've still got like nine more rounds until the Moab appears, so I don't need to worry too much about it, but it's always nice to have these defenses done in advance, you know, like recording an episode or a video in advance, but... Uh, yesterday I just kind of took, well, I, I did basically just take the day off, which is so lame, because I took like two weeks off, <laughs> like, uh, these past two weeks off, and I always take the weekend off from recording and stuff, so it's not like, oh, I finally get a day off. It's like, no, I've been taking days off, what are you talking about? Um, but see, that's kind of the thing about YouTube. Like, I always knew, like, uh, and not always knew, but, um, I always remember hearing people talk about how being a YouTuber is a full-time job and, like, 24-7 you're always working on stuff. I totally agree that that's how it should be and that's how I should be, but um, just because I'm living at home and I'm still living with my parents, um, I don't want to constantly be recording and working and, like, I don't want to be busy in case they want me to do something, not just because I don't want to be interrupted when I'm recording, but also because I don't want to have them have to wait for me to be done recording in order for them to do stuff like uh because it's you know christmas is coming up uh 
I had to help, uh, like, set up the tree and stuff, so, um, obviously at that point, it would have been nice if I was not recording, which is why I wasn't recording. Um, and actually I had to set it up on Monday, I think. Yeah, Monday. Um, but still, like, just, like, just the idea of, I don't want to be busy when my parents need me to come help with something, or do something, or something. <laughs> uh, maybe you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm talking clearly and uh, understandably, if that might, not, not understandably, that's not the right word, but I don't know what I'm saying anymore, <laughs> obviously. Um, let's see, I'm still just gonna make more bomb towers. Can I not fit a bomb tower in here? Almost, there we go. Uh, just cause that uh, circle is smaller. But I might try to go for six Moab Maulers. And again, I don't need to place them within these circles. I could probably more uh, efficiently uh, place them uh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Uh, place them like just right here on the side, bunch them up closer together. But I don't know. I just like uh, putting all the towers in these circles just because it it looks so nice. I guess. Um, <laughs> all right. So now it's round forty-five. Uh, let's see. And I'm actually getting quite a bit of money, uh, so I might actually be able to get a ring of fire, uh, which would be nice. And I should actually get this one as a ring of fire because uh, a little bit more of its range is covering the track, I guess, because right here, most of that on this side is just kind of wasted, while this part it's a little bit more comprehensive, I guess, I think. I'm not really sure if that's true, but it seems right, um, so I'm just going to stick with that. So now I don't need to worry about uh, lead. I mean, I obviously didn't have to worry about lead because of the bomb towers, but um, the mortar is still used for camo detection. But now I'm thinking maybe I should sell that and get a uh, monkey village with the, um, oh man, still not doing very good. Um, a monkey village with the radar scanner. And nope, still need a lot more road spikes uh, to deal with this. Oh man, still a lot more. Um, there we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to sell this one. And I think that was 3,000 uh, that I needed, although this is on hard mode, so... Uh, that does make a little bit of a difference in the thing. Um, hopefully there's no camo on this round. Uh, and I'll be able to get the radar scanner. There we go. And, oh look, there was some camo. Um, Alright, so now I've got radar scanner, so camo balloons aren't a problem. And lead balloons aren't really a problem. It's really just balloons that are a problem. Um, just because I don't have the best popping power. Um, so... If just a lot of balloons, like ceramics and stuff, came through, then that would be a problem. Which is kind of bad, because <laughs> obviously there's going to be a lot of balloons that come through. Um, so I'm actually going to get the jungle drums as soon as I can, um, just so that my towers have a bit more attack speed, which will help out uh, with their attack power and all that, which obviously makes sense. But uh, let's see, now let's try to get the rings of fire. 2400 which uh, is obviously reduced because of the monkey village and the monkey village has such a large range because of the um, because of the bigger beacons uh, deluxe upgrade so uh, let's see uh, two or three rings of fire are pretty good but obviously I'm gonna need more um, so I'm actually gonna try to not necessarily tax shooter solo this but uh, tax shooter and um, attack shooter and Moab Mauler combo this. And let's see, can I almost get it? No, because there's a bunch of black wounds in there. Um, which, ah, that was close. Um, probably wasted a couple of those road spikes, but uh, let's see. And this isn't in the range of the Monkey Village, which is kind of lame, but oh man. Uh, dealing with those black wounds is kind of difficult because of uh, the way that it is. But actually, let's let them get through those road spikes so that I'm not wasting all of those. There we go. Alright, so I'm still kind of wasting them. And I'm using a lot of road spikes uh, just for the sake of not um, losing any lives, but let's see right there. Now it's uh, covering all my towers, and this will be the range. So that now I'll just start building down here, rather than right in this corner where it's not in the range of the Lucky Village anymore. Um, so hopefully, uh, with that extra ring of fire, that should be good. Um, I mean, obviously, there's still going to be a lot of balloons, um, so it's still going to be difficult, but 
Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm not really sure if just a bunch of rings of fire uh, will be enough. Hold on, let's... Yeah, okay, this circle is, is within the range, too. And let's see. So now I just need 4,265 for each uh, ring of fire. Uh, which isn't that bad, or actually not 4,265, 4,075, uh, because this one started getting built um, before it was in the range. Uh, so let's see, it's around 53, just apparently but just a bunch of uh, just a bunch of camo, which obviously isn't a problem. Um, I probably should get more Moab ballers because obviously uh, they're not doing the best. And again, I I wanted to build them all, build these <laughs> all at once. Um, uh, just by saving up to have that much money, but obviously it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's see, I'm actually kind of thinking about selling these Moab Maulers and moving them uh, out of these circles, uh, just to uh, make room for more Rings of Fire within the circles, and then have the Moab Maulers sort of outside, just uh, making sure that they're hitting the, the Moabs, I guess, if that makes sense. And now I'm not really sure how well the Rings of Fire pierce with their area of effect blast radius thing. Um, I think I remember them piercing like 70 or maybe 100. Maybe it's infinite pierce within that little range. But I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there is a limit. Uh, so the ceramic clumps are probably going to be a pretty big problem. Um, just because I've only got six Rings of Fire, so I'm not really sure how well they're going to do against a whole horde of ceramic clumps. Um, but let's see. Again, I do feel like moving those Moabs, or Moab Maulers. Uh, but, eh, yeah, at the end of this round, I'll move them. And oh wow, the Rings of Fire are actually 1,005 more expensive than the Moab Mauler. Um, that's interesting, I guess, because the Rings of Fire, in my opinion, seem like a worse tower than uh, the Moab Mauler. Um, but they're actually more expensive, so that generally means that they're better, but I don't know, it's kind of interesting to me. Alright, so now I move this uh, closer to the beginning. And also, because I'm selling these and uh, building them again uh, within the range of the um, within the range of the Monkey Village, these are actually being built at a slightly decreased cost uh, compared to their previous ones, so now 2,770, which is actually uh, about 300 less, which is, you know, about 10%. Um, so that makes the uh, road, not road spike, uh, attack shooter uh, cost a little bit more impressive, I guess, uh, a little bit more expensive, which again is, to me, kind of interesting. Uh, but let's see, still everything's within the range of the uh, monkey village, don't have to worry about that and just slowly start upgrading these, and um, I think I do remember someone was talking about the uh, Blade Storm or Blade Maelstrom uh, ability of the uh, of the uh, tech shooters, and oops, <laughs> I was a little bit dangerous <laughs> just because of uh, how close those EFBs came to uh, getting through, or those Moabs came to going through, but um, all these Rings of Fire are actually pretty good. Uh, at getting rid of all the other balloons that come out of the uh, Moabs. Alright, um, but they're talking about the Blade Maelstrom, saying that all of those blades had infinite pierce, which is good and helpful, but again it goes back to the whole activated ability thing and my distrust for those, or my dislike for uh, activated abilities. Alright, so this is, again, this is a smaller circle. I'm not 100% sure if the attack shooter will fit. Probably will. But there's always that chance that it won't, and it'll be, you know, frustrating because I can't get the Ring of Fire right there. Uh, but I'm sure it'll fit. Uh, this is round 62, which means next round is round 63, obviously, because that, because because 63 comes after 62, so that makes sense. But uh, let's see. I probably should have saved. I really should have saved, because uh, I'm not sure how well these Rings of Fire will do, and apparently they do all right. So. That's always good news. Um, good to hear that my defense is actually good enough, because um, obviously that is kind of what you're going for. Uh, hoping that what you have is enough to do what you need it to do. <laughs> that, anyways, um, all right. So once I finish this ring of fire, I think I'm gonna build a couple more uh, Moab Maulers because I'm gonna need them. Because <laughs> this is round 64, a bunch of Moabs, which obviously it, it's pretty good actually. 
but now there's going to be a couple BFBs, and the BFB did get through pretty far uh, last time, and now there's two of them, so. Uh, although they are pretty close together, so with this defense, having two BFBs isn't two BFBs that are closely packed together isn't really that big of a difference between the one the one BFB that appeared. Um, well, actually, it does kind of make a difference once you get down to the ceramic layer, um, but as far as the actual BFB layer, uh, all of these Moab Maulers have that splash damage, so just two isn't a big problem, and then the Rings of Fire have, you know, more than one pierce, so um, dealing with two BFBs isn't that big of a problem either. Alright, so... Just gotta wait for that extra money from actually popping these. And, oh man, this is not looking good because of how well those Moabs just got through. And why did I buy something right when I needed cash for road spikes? Dang it. Uh, sell this, come on. And just click away as fast as I can. And, oh wow, that actually, uh, that actually, ah, oh, dang it, I, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh man, I was going to say, wow, I actually caught all the lives, and then I realized, wait a minute, there's a bunch more that I need to be laying down track for, so dang it. <sighs> Alright, so I could have, I really should have saved that, but I uh, did technically lose, but I used to continue, which is lame. <sighs> Alright, so now with the extra cash that I got from the continue, I can build uh, two more Moab Ballers, which hopefully will be enough. Um, and I should set these to strongest. Maybe? No, I'll leave them at first. Not sure if that will make, um, if those two will make enough of a difference, but hopefully it does. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to finish this track successfully and <laughs> not die, because that's always nice. But um, I probably could have survived that if I had used more, um, more road spikes um, rather than looking up at the lives and everything. Uh, let's, let's see. Getting one more Moab Mauler is always nice, and increase the range, and the frag bombs to make it even more powerful. Alright, I can do this. I can do this with seven Moab Maulers, which I really should have focused on the Moab Maulers more before I started spamming all these rings of fire, so yeah, that's much better. Um, yeah, that's much better. <laughs> Alright, so just, you know, remember, whenever there's still blooms on the screen, don't just stop and look up at the lives when you're supposed to be laying down road spikes. Um, and again, you really shouldn't try to rely on road spikes too much, because then that's just using up a lot of money that you could have used on defenses that would have prevented you from needing road spikes, if that makes sense. Um, so now I've got eight Moab Maulers, which is a little bit more effective than the four that I had previously. Um, so now I shouldn't have to worry about Moabs and BFBs, but I'm going to place a couple more anyways, um, just to be 100% sure and to know that uh, the ZOMG is not going to be a problem. Um, so let's see, how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, so got 11 rings of fire. Kind of want to build 4 more just so that I can have 15 because that's a, it's a nice odd number and because that's kind of all that I can fit within the range. I might be able to fit one more right here if I upgrade the monkey village a little bit more so that it can actually have a little bit more range and fit for the last uh, last one that has 16, but I think 15 will do uh, once I build another uh, Moab Mauler. Um, uh, the specialty building for the attack shooter, it, the special ability, I guess, that the specialty building gives it is just that every other attack, um, every other volley of attacks, I guess, um, will have plus one pierce, or plus one popping power, uh, which is nice, but it's definitely not quite as helpful as the boomerang uh, special building, special ability, special building ability, I guess. Um, so that's why I generally try not to uh, use any other specialty buildings, even though right now I'm not using either of the specialty buildings that I have, the mage spire or the boomerang thrower, and I'm not using the boomerang thrower or the mage, that's what I meant, but um, monkey apprentice. But, um, yeah, I mean, if any of you want me to use uh, specialty buildings just to show off what they do and stuff, then just let me know in the comments. And again, I think some people can't actually comment uh, because of Google+. Plus. I thought it was just you can't reply to some comments or something like that. Uh, if you are watching this and you can't comment 
Um, I was about to say leave me a comment and let me know, but that obviously can't uh, work. Um, uh, you might be able to still send Yahoo, or not Yahoo, uh, YouTube messages. Um, if you know how to send a YouTube message, let me know that way if you can, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure how else you'd be able to communicate to me. Um, eh, I'll try to remember this time to uh, look up a video on like how to connect your Google Plus account to your YouTube account or something. Because uh, I know that some people have been having a little bit of trouble with that. Um, so I'll try to remember that and then post the link in the, com in the description. And of course, as always, I post a lot of stuff in the description. In case you're wondering, you can you can look at the description, and there's a lot of stuff in there. My general description of the video is like I, I don't know what I'm saying half the time, but then I post a bunch of links for a bunch of different stuff that uh, generally I think you should check out. A couple of the links are just kind of in there because I've had them in there for a while, and I don't feel like moving the link. <laughs> but uh, some of it's actually important, I guess, or uh, valuable information or something. All right, so it's already around 75. Uh, Got past that 10 rounds pretty quickly. Uh, but let's see, just a couple more rings of fire. Just again as an added safety net. Um, because those Moab Maulers are obviously pretty good at taking down those Moabs. And oh wow, I didn't even. Oh wait, never mind. I was going to say I didn't even realize when I got past round 63. But I, I did realize, and I realized how easily uh, these rings of fire were able to take them down. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Still one more ring of fire uh, until my fire army is complete. <laughs> my 15 rings um, and then eight moams, which is nice. Which I'm assuming should be good enough to defeat a zero MG. Might not be, but eh, seems good enough. But uh, I mean, not eight. I have ten moab maulers. Uh, but let's see. I wish that the Monkey Village upgrades, like the uh, jungle drums and the uh, extra range and stuff, I wish those stacked, because that would be really cool, but then obviously it would be a little bit overpowered. Um, let's see, let's see, so that's all the Rings of Fire that I'm going to place. I've got 10 Moab Maulers, which is really powerful. So I think I'm going to just uh, build a Super Monkey way back here at the end. Just again as a little bit of a safety net, or I should build a spike factory, which I can't place within the circles because there's not enough room, but uh, can I place it down here? No? Alright, so I'll place it up there. And I'm going to build the spike factory uh, as a safety net because obviously uh, my defenses are not completely foolproof or uh, leak proof or bloom proof or whatever you would say. Um, they're not perfect, so obviously I did lose earlier. But then I th I'm pretty sure I could have done it right. I could have survived if I just used a bit better strategy or was a bit smarter with my money and, you know, built better towers or whatever. But, um, alright, so, let's see. Spike Ball Factory 2590. Yeah, not that bad. Um, not that much more expensive. I mean, really, that's 7,285, which is almost eh, kind of close to twice as expensive as my uh, Rings of Fire. And it's three times, about three times as expensive as the Moab Mauler. Alright, so I'll build another one rather than upgrade it to the Spiked Mine. Um, just because I feel like that's better. Probably not, but I feel like it, so <laughs> I'm going to do it. Which is a terrible way to live, but uh, let's see. White hot spikes, cuts through lead like a hot spike through lead. And I don't... I don't know why I'm reading that, I'm just, I'm just bored. <laughs> so, around 81, probably just gonna, I'm just gonna build the just two spiked factories, spiked ball factory, um, and then yeah, that's probably gonna be it for my defenses. I'll probably lose, but eh, might as well go out with, you know, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, let's see, yeah. Just a couple more rounds, 82, 83, 84, 85, don't know why I had to count that, you can already see it's on round 82. <sighs> On, yeah, bleh. Once I get to this point, I'm just bored. kind of want to just fast forward through it, but it's barely any rounds anyways. Uh, let me know what you think, if, you, if, I, if, uh, if I ever get to a point where I just don't know what else to say, would you want me to just fast forward through the end? Um, and then also, what do you think about the music that I play for fast forwarding? Uh, 
I think I've only done it like once on this video series, this LP of let's uh gonna start with Flight Edition. But I think I've fast forwarded a couple times with the uh Bloons Monkey City and uh, Bloons Star Defense Battles. But anyways, uh, the December song Intertwined uh, by my brother, Robert. Um, link in the description <laughs> in case you don't know. Um, just the intro and outro music that I use and then occasionally the fast forwarding music that I use. <sighs> ah oh, man, this is bad. I'm supposed to be all commentating and stuff, but it's almost at the end anyways. And uh, yeah, there's not really much else to say because I'm not doing anything. So I'm just waiting. Waiting for the balloons to come in. Which again, this is one of those moments where it'd be great for an auto send wave feature or just a faster fast forward feature. Uh, but then obviously it would depend on how good your computer is and my computer clearly is not that good. Uh, so this is only running about 16, 15 frames per second, which I'm assuming this game is supposed to be running at like 30 or 60 frames per second. but. Obviously, I'm just running about half that, and oh wow, a lot of blooms actually are getting kind of far. But that's why I've got those extra rings of fire uh, to help deal with those. And you know what? I have enough money. I'm gonna build a spiked mine, and I'm gonna save it just in case. Um, but I'm pretty confident that this will win, mostly because of those 10 OM ballers <laughs> that are doing 100 damage per shot. And again, I don't know if it's 100 damage per second. Probably not, but. Did a lot of damage to the ZOMG, and still doing quite a bit of damage to the BFBs. Not quite popping the Moabs, but uh, down here the Moab Maulers are still able to pop them. Then obviously that was too far along for the Rings of Fire to be able to pop them, and I'm getting a little afraid, but <laughs> alright, those spike factories were a good idea as a safety net. And huzzah, I gained plus 100 uh, monkey money because I accidentally spent 100, or 200 uh, because of... Uh, what's it called? Because of the continuous. So on the next track, it's also a beginner track, and the next three are beginner tracks. Um, so if I don't use a continue, then I should be able to get the tank awesomizer, which makes back factory or er, tack towers, spike factories, spike or er, tack towers, spike factory spikes, bloomberry bushes, and road spikes now pop twice as much as before. Which uh, I'll discuss a little bit more when I actually get that upgrade. So. That's it for this episode, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.